Welcome to our hard and heavy leg day. This workout today is going to target the inner and the outer thighs. We've got the glute muscles, the quads, the hamstrings, and the calves, and we are gonna be working heavy to really help strengthen and define and lean out those legs. And the only thing you need for this workout today is going to be your mat or a cushy surface, dumbbells of course, and we are gonna use optional, your mini resistance bands or booty bands, and also a chair, you can use a weight bench if you have that, you can use your couch, your bed, anything like that. We will use that for a few of the exercises. I'll give you a modification if you don't have a chair nearby. Also modifications um, for the bands as well. But the point of this workout is really to help you build strength in your lower body. So the challenge for you today in order to do that is even if it's just for three, four, five reps, go a little bit heavy, heavier than you normally would. If you can get through the whole set a little bit heavier, then go for it. That is the challenge today. This is week three of Rebel as well. And the theme for this week is raise the resistance. And this is what's gonna help us get stronger. It's those little changes that are really gonna make the big difference overall. So challenge yourself today. We've got 30 minutes to make it count. The structure for the workout is right here. And I'm gonna show you our very first exercise. So I'll show you the modification first because this is one where we are going to use the chair and the band. So I am going to show you first. If you are not using the chair, you are going to do a glute bridge on the ground. So let's just come down to the ground. It's gonna look just like this, lifting and lowering. If you wanna use dumbbells, you can put two or one here for that added resistance. You can also use your booty band right above your knees if you have that. But if you are using just your chair here, we're gonna bring the chair out. We're gonna put our shoulder blades on the chair this time, just like this. You can have that band as well. You can have your hands behind your head. We're gonna lift and lower. If you've got weight, we're gonna be holding that weight right here. So grab your dumbbells if you're using those, grab your chair, grab your man, and let's get this leg day started. And you can also start your watch if you wanna do that. I'm using one dumbbell for this exercise. So for hip thrusts, I like to use one dumbbell. So we're gonna lift and squeeze down and up, good. Make sure you lower all the way down here. And then as you squeeze, squeeze the glutes and squeeze, good. Down and squeeze. If you've got that band on, you are keeping pressure on that band, but knees, toes still in line here. Weight stays in the heels. If you are really noticing that your quads are working big time, maybe take those legs, step them out. You may have them too close. You want a nice comfy stance here. Breathing. Last one, squeeze it. Good, we're gonna set it down just for a second. Resting it out for 25 seconds. So we've got those 13 exercises. Rest is going to remain the same in between for that 25 seconds, working for 45 seconds. If you need to increase your weight, if you wanna get maybe a, an extra resistance here for your booty band, you can do that. But we've gotta get ready to go back into position. Here we go. Down and squeeze. This hip thrust here is giving you a little bit more range of motion than when we do the hip lifts on the floor. So that's why we are incorporating this today. Good, down and squeeze. Halfway, squeeze it up. Oh my goodness, we are feeling it. And squeeze, good. You're almost through. Last one, down and squeeze, good. Lower it down, going for the next exercise. We are just going to do abduction on the chair. Now, if you are not using that chair, you can sit it up and you're gonna press out here with that band. If you don't have the band, you're gonna use your hands here as extra resistance. But if not, let's bring it up, getting those hips up in the sky. Here we go. We're gonna press out and out. Good, keeping those hips lifted and just pressing out on the band. Core is engaged and breathing. Really, oh my gosh, feeling it. <sighs> Outer thighs 
glutes. The hamstrings are working. Halfway. Slow and controlled though. Even though it's a small motion, you're still wor working that full range of motion. So it might just be a few inches that you're pressing out. Good. And squeeze. Ooh, last one. Squeeze. Good. Lower it back down nice and slow. Holding it here. Enjoying the burn. <laughs> That's why we're here. Oh, we're going heavy today. We're going all in. <sighs> but again, just adding that little resistance, even if it's only for a few reps, is going to make a huge difference for you in the long haul. So keep showing up, keep being consistent, keep going heavy enough. I'm telling you what, you're gonna see those changes. Bring it back up, get those hips up, and press. <sighs> Squeeze, good. <sighs> you can even reach down if you want, just Feel those muscles working. Good. And out. Press. Good. Almost there. Well over halfway. Well, geez, we're done. There, there we go. Well over halfway, we're done. All right, going into, now you can get your chair out of the way. We're gonna go into an inner thigh lift. We're setting that weight up out of the way. You won't need the band for this either. So we're moving the band, but down on the mat, you're gonna take this top leg, cross it over, and we're just gonna lift here. You can even lay it down on your elbow or up. Added resistance. You can press down on that leg as it's trying to come up towards you. And lift, good. Keeping that core engaged. All the way down, all the way up, halfway there. Breathing. Really working that inner thigh muscle now. <sighs> Tightening those muscles up. Good, squeeze. <sighs> Two seconds and one. <sighs> Hold it down. We're gonna go in that again. Same side. Two times through each exercise so you do get that second chance if you wanna add some extra resistance. Anything like that, we'll get two chances to go through that. <sighs> Breathing. But again, the extra resistance on this one will just come from that little bit of extra pressure as you're trying to lift that leg back up. Here we go. Breathe out with the lift. I'm telling you what, adding these strength workouts on, it is gonna like boost your mood because you're gonna see how strong you are. You're gonna see what you are capable of. It's gonna feel oh so good when you get to the end of it. <sighs> Breathing, almost there. Oh my gosh, my leg is shaking. Is your leg shaking? <laughs> we are doing it. Last one. <sighs> good, just switching it over. Really feeling that inner thigh engage. We are not done with the inner thigh either. We have got some workouts or some exercises coming up Ooh, to hit it again. We're just waking things up right now. <laughs> so same thing, that top leg is crossed over and in front. If you want that added pressure, you can just place your hand here and let's begin. And lift, good. Think about this inner thigh muscle right here, working. And breathe. <sighs> Halfway. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> <And> lift. 
Make sure you're getting full range of motion. So you're going all the way down and then up. Last one. <sighs> Rest it down. Once more through. <sighs> Breathing, grab a drink, dry off anytime you need to. <sighs> Working the small muscle groups right now. We're gonna be getting into the sumo squat next, which is gonna hit, well, it's gonna hit the inner thighs again. We got the glutes, the hamstrings. Breathing, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift and lower. Awesome job. More than halfway. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. leg day, we love it. Friends don't let friends skip leg day, so thanks for keeping me accountable on this one. <laughs> Two seconds and one, good. Whew, 25 seconds to bring it up, get your weight for sumo squat. Challenge yourself again, even if you just go a few reps with that heavier weight, do that, have that lighter weight ready to grab right away. Let's get up and go into it. You can use two dumbbells as well. You can use two here, one on each leg, or you can use one dumbbell right in the center. I'm gonna use two just because I wanna work on going a little bit heavier this time around. So bringing those toes out wide, all the way down. Oh, hello, inner thighs after those thigh, inner thigh lifts. Squeeze the glutes at the top and up. Good, down and squeeze. Keeping that core engaged, keeping your chest up on this one. Over halfway. Breathing 10 seconds. Down and squeeze. Three seconds and one. Good. Once more through. If you want to adjust your weight, do that. Your legs are strong. You can do this. Hey, this is gonna help those climbs on the bike. Can I just say that as well? <laughs> so uh, your six is gonna be your new seven or your, your seven is gonna be your new six. That's what we're working on this week. But let's begin again. Here we go. And squeeze, good. Keep that chest up, down and up. Don't forget to breathe out as you press up. Exhale here. And squeeze down. Over halfway. Romanian deadlift is going to be next. So really gonna target that posterior chain, glutes, hamstrings. Five seconds. Last rep, down and up, good. So for that Romanian deadlift, you can use one dumbbell holding onto each end of the dumbbell or you can use two, but form is gonna be super important. Full range of motion, that's lowering down as low as your flexibility allows. And then all the way back up, keeping those dumbbells close. It's gonna look like this, down and squeeze. But we've got to begin, here we go and squeeze, slight bend in the knee, hinging at the hips, down and up. So if you're going heavier on this one, amazing job. You may notice your tempo is a little bit slower the heavier you go and that is okay. That's gonna allow you to focus on that muscle. It's gonna allow you to focus on form. So don't rush through it. Squeeze over halfway, down and up. Last one, perfect. Adjust your weights if you need to. If you wanna go heavier, go heavier. If you need to grab a drink, dry off, do that. We've got 15 seconds, we go again. 
breathing. Let's get our dumbbells get ready to go. Three seconds, two and one. Down and squeeze. And squeeze, good. Halfway. The last time for this exercise. Down and squeeze. Good, few seconds left. Last rep. And up, good. Sumo deadlift now. So let me show you that form. So the Romanian deadlift that we just did, the hinge is coming from the hips. It's down and up. With the deadlift, the sumo deadlift, we're gonna take those legs out wide. We're gonna hinge at the knees and the hips. So we're gonna start down and we're gonna pull that weight back up. So grab your weight. Starting down at the bottom, let's begin. And squeeze. So chest comes down a little bit on this one. I'm gonna turn to the side as well, just so you can see. Push the floor away. Push those hips up. Come on, driving through those heels. Back stays flat. Amazing job, few reps left, come on. You've got it. Last one. Breathe. 25 seconds. I'm gonna use the chair, this will be a little easier to grab the dumbbell. Breathing. Don't try to rush through the deadlift, the sumo deadlift. Work at your own pace. Focus on good form. So even if you're getting less reps, but you're keeping good form, that is what you want. Going right back into it. Sumo squat, we're gonna start down here at the bottom and pull, good. Now my shoulders are not rounding, my back is not arching, everything is still flat here. Breathing and up, 10 seconds. Last rep, down and up. Whew. Amazing job, now we have just got that squat. I'm gonna use two dumbbells right up here on my shoulders. You can also keep them down for more of a suitcase squat if you want them out to your side whatever is more comfortable for you on this exercise, because I wanna make sure you focus on going heavy enough. <sighs> Grabbing your dumbbells, getting into position, let's begin. And squeeze. Just gonna turn to the side here. Down, squeeze. Make sure you get that little squeeze at the top of the glutes. Core is engaged, chest up. Good, halfway. And squeeze. Almost there. Last one, down and up. Awesome job. Adjust your weight if you need to. Again, remember the challenge is to go a little bit heavier than you usually do, even if it's for a few reps. So for this next round through, even if you say, I'm gonna go five reps a little heavier than I usually do, have those lighter weights ready, do your five reps, and get right back in to that lighter weight. Oh, but we've gotta begin, here we go. Last time for squats, squeeze. 
down and squeeze. Why am I challenging you to go heavy? It's because that is how your muscles change. I went for way too long doing the same weight over and over, not seeing those changes. So that's why I'm challenging you. Hey, I've been there, I've done that, I've been stuck in that rut, I've hit that plateau, and I wanna help you so that that does not happen. <sighs> Down and squeeze, keep the weight in the heels, core engaged, come on, keep that form right till the very end. <sighs> Breathing and squeeze. Last one, down and up. Amazing job. Oh my goodness. You're killing it. What can I say? You are rocking it out. We have got calf raises next. So if you wanna use your chair for balance and no weight, that is totally fine. But we're gonna do a toes turned out. So toes are gonna be out a little bit. We're gonna lift and lower. You can use dumbbells if you want. If not, you can hold onto your chair for balance. Grabbing your weight. Let's begin. Lift and lower. All the way up, all the way down. Hold it for a second at the top. Contract that calf muscle. Contract your calf, your calf muscles, your calves. <laughs> I'm trying to do it plural because I don't want you to just focus on one. I want you to focus on both. <sighs> Good, squeeze. <sighs> Breathe out, exhale here with that lift and lower. Shoulders roll down and back with the weights, not up here. Make sure you're down and back. Last one, lift and lower. Shake it out. Going for that once more through. Breathe. Ten seconds. So get into position. Toes are out. You can, if it's more comfortable, the weight can be up here as well but going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Try not to hold it too long here at the bottom. You're up, down, right back up. Good. And squeeze. Breathe. 10 seconds. We're gonna grab that chair again for the next round. And down, perfect. All right, so next exercise we're gonna do is a split squat. So this is where you will use your chair. If you want to modify this, you are going to do a single leg glute bridge. So let me just show you on the ground really quick Modification is this, down and up. You can use weight. If not, grab your chair, grab your dumbbells, bring that leg up, and let's begin. Down and up. You may have to adjust your stance. You can be on your toe. You can also be flat on the top of your foot, whichever you find more comfortable, but keeping that chest up, controlling it down, pushing through that leading leg in the heel, down and up. Breathe. Last one. And up, shake it out. Same thing, we're gonna do that again. Same leg. We gotta get right back into it. We've got 10 seconds. So find your positioning and let's begin. As I fall over. <laughs> Down and up. And squeeze. Really hitting the quad, hamstring and glute on this one. <sighs> but still working hard if you are doing that single leg glute bridge as well. But if you find that the lunging positions bother your knee, 
So those glute bridges are gonna be an awesome modification. Breathing over halfway. Last one, <sighs> shake it out. All right, so we have got two exercises left. We are switching sides, so we're gonna work that other leg. So if you were doing the glute bridge on the ground, you are gonna switch to that other leg. And then we've got one exercise. Well, actually we have two exercises left because we're gonna do one side and then the other. But getting into position, getting comfy here, let's begin. Down and up. Push through that heel for that leg in the front. Good. Breathing. Almost there. Last rep. Down and up. Whew. Breathe. Grab a drink. Dry off if you need to. I need to dry off. Last time through for this exercise. So getting into position, we've got just about 10 seconds. Breathe and let's begin. Down and up. Awesome job. Whew. Breathe. Come on, you're halfway. This last exercise that we're gonna work each leg individually, we are gonna burn out the behind side. I'm telling you what, the glutes and the hams are gonna be feeling oh so good. Last rep, down and up, perfect. All right, this is where you will need the glute band or your, um, the booty band or your mini resistance band. We are gonna use the chair. We are going to do a standing donkey kick. So we're gonna be just like this, no band, that is fine. But grab your, your band, two rounds on each leg. Here we go. That band is right above your knees and you're pressing back. Core is engaged, extending all the way. Breathe. Halfway. Challenge yourself with the band too. If you have a smaller or like a heavier resistance band, challenge yourself with it today. We've got one more round on this side. Last one. So come on, I'm challenging you, this is it. Once more on this side, then we'll switch two rounds and done. Breathing. Getting ready to go in five seconds. Let's get into position. And one, here we go. Where, there's the hair. Found the hair. <laughs> Breathing, whew, awesome job. Keeping a slight bend in this leg on the ground. This leg is working big time right now too. Good, 10 seconds. Here's four, three, two, 
one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, we get to switch two rounds through and you have made leg day and you have rocked leg day out, no doubt. Oh my goodness. Drying off one last time. We've got 10 seconds working on that other side now. So switching legs, back flat, core engaged, 45 seconds, here we go. I'm telling you what, even without the band, you're feeling this. Keep that core engaged. Slight bend in the leg on the ground. Halfway. Breathe, five seconds. One. Oh, good. Last time through, shake it out. If you're going heavier for that last round on the band, grab it now. We've got 15 seconds. Breathing. All right, let's get into position. Get that slight bend in that leg on the ground. Bend that knee that's extending, that's kicking back, and let's go. Oh, awesome job. We are so close to halfway. Here it is, halfway. Good, press back. Keep your form back flat, core engaged. Again, you can feel those glute muscles engaging with this move for sure, so you know you were working. I mean, you can feel it. <sighs> Almost there. Last one. Oh my God. <sighs> you did it. That was amazing. That was one heck of a leg lower body burner. I wanted to kick my band in celebration, but it just fell off. Oh dear. <laughs> You are awesome, and I love you, and I have to say thank you so much for working with me through that leg day. You pushed me on, we worked heavier, we worked harder together, and that was awesome. You deserve a serious, delicious, yummy, tasty dessert, and it is right there. So go grab that, and I will see you over there at that stretch, and I love you so much. I will see you over for our stretch.